Ah, your jungler's here. Ah, your Strackhold is here as well. Ah, where's your... Where's your Strackhold now, pussy? Where's your Strackhold jungle? Oh, God, this ult as well! God, this ult as well! Yes! Meet the greatest personality in League of Legends esports today, Kadro. So let me, dude. I've, I've had a rough day, Kadro. I just need say to. It. Say I just it. watched Waymo. I just watched Waymo be built. Don't say make it. me say it. You said Don't you make say, me it. say it. You promised. Oh, say he's the best. Say he's the best. He's the best. He's All right. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, he's insane. They call him the he's fucking insane. Oh, my God. Oh, my it's God. No. I had that. I had it in the bank account. Nice. In a game that has gone stale for many, in a community that has become bored, Cajal has shined a new, bright light. He brought the love of the game back for fans all across the world. So where did this rambunctious, chaotic, and insightful personality get its start? Cajal, before he was a streaming giant and caster extraordinaire, was a professional player. But despite his high hopes, he quickly found himself the butt of the joke. Ality, one to one in the towers, a dragon advantage as well. Ready to take a fight. Flash over. How do you... Just cancelled. Wait. That was... Cajal just... just cancelled it. He has no QSS. There is no way for him to break the CC. And it quickly spiraled from there for a player already struggling with mental health issues. The only thing that I was like latching onto still was my confidence in my gameplay. Um, that was like the only thing that I had going for me at the time, but that was fading because the stage games I was playing bad. I was really distracted. My mind really wasn't in it. Excel was a breath of fresh air. Cadrill, he now gets the opportunity to showcase that he's playing in his actual role. He finally gets to be a jungler this time around. Just camp his lane. That guy's gonna make plays. Just be ready. No, and make absolutely. jungle so important in this meta. I think they can really take off here. So now we see Cadrill making his way up towards the top side. So I should have spotted him. Engage. There's the disdain. Cadrill with a follow up engage. And so as not gonna flash away. Doesn't want to. Cadrill is here first. Has another ultimate available, flashes in, so is trying to get away with the slicing. Maelstrom just stuns them both up, but with the Ignite, that will be enough. Expect picks up the kill, okay. and it's a second good game. Seven down, and you have to think Misfits are down as well! Jester survives, and Excel cement their place in the LEC! And then off the back of that, they just worked their way into the base of Misfits. They systematically dismantled them, and while Misfits still looked scary in that late game fight, it just was not enough to shut down this XL score. Two weeks in a row, XL have shown us that they are not to be trifled with. But this one, they get coming out with a win. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the writing was already on the wall. To get excited about this team enough for us to forgive them of their previous sins in earlier weeks because they looked pretty hot today. They definitely did. Once again, the kick away. He's just trying to get the final fights off. The Nexus goes down. Fnatic with their second win as they fell XL here in week four. But as one door closes, another one always opens. Welcome to the Caster Desk for the first game of 2021. I'm Dracos, and it's my absolute pleasure to be joined under by none other than Cadrill. Not a rookie to this stage, and certainly not a rookie to the cast, but happy to have him for his first official cast as a professional caster here for Mad Lions versus G2 Esports. Uh -huh. Yeah, start the Baron. G2. I think we can start this Baron. I think it's 5v4. Wonder has no TP. Excellent, the Baron. Uh, yeah, 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 this... G2. Yeah, because he's got it. Oh my god, yeah, no, he got it. G2 oh my god. Have got the Baron. Oh, I will say, Betty. It's a little bit mean of you to ask Cadrill, you've been in this situation, what would you think when he never made playoffs? He's been it's in a best little of bit five. rude to me. <laughs> anyway, good playoff shot, Manic. Thanks, man. <laughs> Blue side remains undefeated in this series. Okay, next, a golden moment from yes. Cadrill's days in oh, the mid lane. That was Cadrill just cancelled it. First day on stage. <laughs> so that's maybe. That I didn't remember that I was casting that. That's so funny. Cadrill became an overnight sensation and the stream caught up shortly after. 
Yo! <laughs> nah, yo, flowers, man! Yo, wait. There's no way someone pinged him that I did that. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> the community couldn't get enough of it. Many who had felt that they didn't belong amongst the current crop of League of Legends streamers found themselves a new home with Cadrill. As his platform continued to grow, so did his personality. From the soft-spoken, shy guy who first appeared on the LAC stage to the outgoing, impossible-to-miss personality that dominates the landscape today. And soon, he had the endorsement of one of the biggest orgs in LEC history as well. Not that he needed it that much at this point. Hello right, everyone, and welcome to the Fnatic Chinese TikTok combo. We're going to be doing five different combos, and we all have three tries each. <laughs> it was so fast, I didn't even see it. Oh, was it so quick? I, I did use the one. It was good. Everybody? Guys, it's perfection. Yeah, I guess. For many, the golden age of League of Legends streaming has come and gone. But for Cadrill, it has only just begun. As he continues to grow in popularity and expand his interests, who knows what awaits the greatest personality in League of Legends esports today. Uh, yeah, just thank you all for the support. There's been a crazy amount of messages. I think there's been so many personalities from so many different regions just messaging me, giving me advice. So shout out to all of them. And thank you so much to the LEC crew, especially. I think they've helped me grow so much as a person and a personality as well on the broadcast. Um, and I'm just so grateful for yeah, yeah. all the kind messages. And uh, it's been crazy the last few years. Three years later, I can probably say I'm doing much better mentally. Oh, let's go, in addition, man. I can say with pride that I was accepted into MIT this year. XDD. I will probably be studying engineering. Your energy and everything helped me get to that hump and helped me find what I was most passionate about. Thank you for everything, Cage. Well, here's to more bro stream. Really a rat. That's, that's sweet. That's awesome. Bro, I just woke up. I just woke up and now I'm crying. I'm crying. What the hell? I'm glad, bro. Glad I can help. I'm glad I can help, man. Uh.